So as I began to eat less carbs and less sugar, I did get much skinnier. I wasn't big before in any means necessary. I just got a lot thinner than what I was. And as a 13, 14 year old girl, I was getting a lot of affirmations, especially from other women. The whole thing is a little bit of a slow fade. And as I tell the story, you're going to see how it progressively gets worse and how something that was intended for good, even though it was a little toxic to begin with, it turned very, very bad and quickly. When you're 13 and 14 years old, you already are wanting to find acceptance in this world. It's kind of like those instrumental developmental years for socially, um, mentally, emotionally, all those things. And so I felt like I was really getting acceptance within my own family and other people's point of view from looking thinner. And not to mention, I was very passionate about athletics and I felt like that teammates and coaches were even saying things. And I was like, oh shoot, does this mean I, to be a good player, I have to be I have to stay this skinny for the rest of my life or this thin. I'll never forget this moment. My freshman year of high school, I was playing indoor volleyball. I come in and I think I wanted, I went to a, one of the varsity practices. I was initially on the JV team, but then every once in a while I'd go to the varsity practices if they needed an extra player. And the girls couldn't stop talking to me about how much they loved my legs, how thin they thought they were and how toned and how lean. And it was such a pivotal developmental moment for me because I think like, I began to I tie my worth with how small I can make my body. 